Hi, I am going to show you how to create a Zoom meeting, create the related invitation and link. I went ahead into my browser, which I use Safari, and going to zoom.us. I had told it to remember me and my password, my Zoom password. So when I go there online, I'm already logged in. I went into my account. And when I open my account, you can see under personal, my profile information, my meeting information, my webinar information. And we're gonna just go to meetings. And coming up, uh, I don't have any, but I can go ahead and schedule a meeting over here on the right hand side. So if I click on that, it asks you to, you know, what you want the title of the meeting to be. Um, you can put a description or not. The date, uh, you can pick by uh, using the calendar. And let's say um, the meeting is at 10 in the morning. I'm gonna go to two and then we're gonna get a message. Your Zoom basic plan has a 40 minute time limit on meetings with three or more participants. Honestly, cut off at 40 minutes could happen. But typically, I immediately create a new meeting and share the invitation. And within minutes, we're all back again. Uh, I generally plan for one hour meetings and I haven't had any issues. Time zone, meeting ID. Um, you really, you could stick to whatever uh, default uh, settings there are. You can have a passcode that is unique to you. Now, I do recommend that you click on the waiting room and that will prevent hackers from, you know, Zoom bombing your meeting. And here under video, it's asking who is going to be sharing video. I typically always put on for the host and on for the participant so that if there's anybody who has video, that setting allowable and um, I don't have to change it at the time of the meeting. Now, meeting options, these are kind of cool. You can allow the participants to join anytime. You can mute participants as they come in. Um, you can automatically record the meeting onto your computer. So as soon as you hit leave the meeting, it will start downloading onto your computer and approve or block entry from specific countries or regions. I, I never do that. So uh, essentially, You've scheduled a meeting, topic, date, and time. Scroll down, hit save. Now you have under meetings, my meetings, and this is uh, future meetings. I have this one set up already. Now to share this meeting with other individuals and the participants, you don't have to copy this huge link. You just go right here to copy invitation, and this is what your invitation template looks like. This is what everybody copies and pastes in their email. Just copy meeting invitation, and it says copy to clipboard, and then I leave. I go to my email and I hit paste. And one thing to note right here is you can save this meeting information that you've put in, the location, the description, even the time, and it will use it as a template for future meetings. You don't have to put all that information back in again next month or next quarter. Before I let you go, I will show you when you're actually in the Zoom application in the top left corner where it says zoom.us. And if you open the preferences, because there are so many Zoom meetings where you can't see their face and they're in their bedroom, I highly recommend the settings window. And under video, if you click on touch up my appearance, it will boost your light a little bit. See that? It works better than the adjust for low light, which is sort of like your auto selection. It's better if you see it and chew the value there. When I go to get into a meeting, but I'm not exactly ready for the camera, um, in the settings window under video, you can set it to keep your video off while joining the meeting. And then once you're in the meeting or when you're asked to, uh, you can then turn your video on. Um, I also don't like to see myself as the active speaker while speaking. We're going to scroll down to background and filters. In this area, you have virtual backgrounds. And this is where if you have a JPEG or an image in your desktop or your photo gallery, you can uh, press the plus sign right here and add that image into your virtual backgrounds uh, library. and then you know you can choose your background so for instance uh you know i might want to be a little bit more festive or these virtual backgrounds 
uh, if you have not seen them before, uh, is our moving images, uh, the waves on the beach or the Aurora Borealis, those few extra settings will actually make for a much more professional meeting than most people are doing. When you start the meeting as the host, you will, I'll show you, it's right here, start this meeting. So at the meeting time, you click on this. And because you checked in the meeting preferences to record onto your computer, that might help make it or easier for minutes. It will export an audio file, a movie file, and a text file. So whatever is your pleasure. And that is basically all you need to know on how to set up a Zoom meeting and get the invitation information and share the link. I hope it is as easy for you as it was for me. It took some time, but you know, the whole world is learning Zoom. So here we are. Thank you.